in that space as well. All right, before we run out of time, I want to ask you about Christopher Pine's multi-million dollar government advertising campaign to spruik higher education reforms that aren't even law yet. So in other words, they're currently Liberal Party policy and the taxpayers are going to pay millions of dollars for it. We're told that they won't spend as much as Labor would have spent. Watch this space. Let's see if that's true. Labor said the same thing when they compared what they did to what the Howard government did forever and a day. Do you wonder why Nick Xenophon, who's a guest later on, may well do pretty well with the new political party? People are cynical about this kind of stuff from both major parties. Look, people are cynical about politicians, full stop. Uh, it doesn't... It, this, it's, it's, it's been a stuff, rough... It's why. You've got to see that, surely. Yeah. Chris, it's the first campaign we have we have had. It is a space, and you come from the sector, and you and I have had this discussion. You agree with the changes, as do, I, I do. the vast majority you know of what? people. I reckon advertising like this is counterproductive. I think if people are in favour of it, and then they see millions of dollars of their taxpayers' dollars at a time of fiscal austerity getting shoved down their television screens or in double-page spreads in the newspapers. I don't think that wins votes. I think it loses votes. I, I, you said there people are in favour of it. I, my gut feel out on the front lines is we've still got a job to do in sell us selling the position. Mm. We've obviously got a job to do in selling the position in the Senate. But on the front lines, there is a lot of misinformation out there. It's very easy to say $100,000 fees, which is all Labor reverts to. It is a complex space, as you know, because you work in it. The way it is currently structured is counterintuitive. We are churning out graduates in spaces where there's no employment at the end. Now, parents in my electorate have this long-held ambition, and my father was no different. I'm the first uh, generation of my family to go to uni. That he wanted me, he was desperate, that was his success card. But if you then can't get a job after it, yep. and, and you, you, need to, you need to restructure things, you know, moving help but, along but, but, to but trades. How, but how does all of this justify millions of dollars going into an advertising campaign? We need to promote the cause. We need to get the public really think it works? to buy into it. Look, uh, I'm not in charge of those decisions, Peter. I'm not an advertising exec. You're a commentator. I'm a participant. But what I do know is that the reform is long overdue and well needed, and it's my job as a backbencher to stand on the front lines and prosecute the case. And, you, and when you talk to the uni in my electorate, they are excited about the change because it gives them the chance to tailor their courses the way that demand for employment post the course yep. enables the flow to employment and this is the big issue we have a tax revenue issue as you said earlier the more people we can get into work the more tax gets paid the better the revenue side of our, our federal profit and loss statement the budget will be all right we're out of time but as always appreciate your time craig Laundie. thanks very much peter thanks very much